Cowboys friends, Cowboys fans, Cowboys family. What's up? It's your boy Foots. Um, for those of you who don't know why they call me Foots, I'm a drummer and I'm a bedroom scout. I'm in my bedroom right now. Um, love to do music and I love Dallas Cowboys. So I'm here. Uh, Bradley McDonald's my real name. Foots is what they call me. And let's get straight to it. Um, some news broke today. Well, first off, let's rewind a little bit. So I haven't been doing many videos through this dead, you know, kind of season. Because there hasn't been much news. Of course, Rolando McClain got suspended, but what else is new? I'm tired of talking about him. You know, to me, it sets a bad precedent that he's even still on the team. You got Jason Garrett preaching one thing, do things the right way, and you have Jason Jerry Jerry Jones who says, oh, yeah, let's keep Rolando McClain. It's because of cap issues. No, cut the guy, get rid of him. He's a good football player who, quite frankly, he just doesn't care about football, to me. But enough of that. Let's talk about this Ezekiel Elliott situation and these domestic accusations against him and, you know, this just this whole thing. When you're talking about Ezekiel Elliott in this situation, first off, everybody slow down. Pump your brakes because, you know, it's like we don't know. We don't know. We don't have enough facts. All that we know is that a stop was made, four people were in the car, four witnesses say, you know, the witnesses said they saw nothing. Wrist bruises, okay. We also know the young lady posted something on her Instagram, posted a bunch of pictures. We don't know when these pictures were taken. We don't know how long. And to me, it's very, it's, 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 it's out of line and it's almost, I'm, I wouldn't say inappropriate. Inappropriate is not the word I'm looking for. I'm more so looking, it's, it's unresponsible to jump to a conclusion right away. When you don't know anything, when you don't know the whole story, when you don't know what exactly happened. What we do know is that a report came out today from Ezekiel Elliott's father, or a statement rather, saying that he's 100% innocent. He denies it. So I like that that they jumped on top of it earlier. They didn't let it simmer or the Cowboys PR didn't try to cover it up. His dad said he's 100% innocent. And, you know, he says that he has these text messages, you know, saying that, well, his girlfriend's going to try to ruin him. To me... And this is just being honest, you be the judge. It's his birthday today. He has the highest selling jersey. Cowboys worth $4 billion. He's the starting running back as a rookie, obviously, for the Dallas Cowboys. You know, um, you know the Cowboys are worth so much. He's going to be, you know, he has the Madden ratings just came out. You know, he has a, and all these things. You know, people know who Ezekiel Elliott is. His girlfriend also knows who Ezekiel Elliott is. So to me, could there be an ulterior motive? I'm not going to speak on that either way. If if he is found, you know, he hasn't went to a judge, a court of law and been found guilty of anything. You know, he hasn't even been charged of anything. No charges, you know. She hasn't pulled out any charges against the man. So to me, it's, it's, it's very irresponsible to make accusations or to say Zeke is bad or compare this to Greg Hardy, look Dallas making. No, 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 no. That's wrong. You know, two years ago, they tried to say the same thing about Des Bryant. Oh, yeah, there's this video of him doing something bad to this one. It never came out. That's the society we live in, the Adam Shafters, and I love these people. But now you have this thing of where I got to be the first to report something and just make some wild accusation. And it's just, we just don't know, you know. So th those are my thoughts. Listen, I don't condone domestic violence, but I also don't think that as a society and just as people, we should jump to these conclusions, right, so, so quickly. He's a bad kid. The Cowboys messed up. They love trouble players. No. Nothing, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's an argument. And I'm not going to say it sounds like a better, you know, ex-girlfriend, but you've had exes. And you've been through things. They put the word domestic on things because it's between a male and a female or some type of relationship was going on. But I can't speak and say that, you know, he's done something wrong. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I'm Also, quick note, I'm going to be going to Cowboys camp, training camp. Um, August 3rd through the 7th, um, just getting some tape, some film, and just kind of just like talking about what's going on. So let me know what y'all want to talk about. Give me some topics to talk about. These are my thoughts on this whole Ezekiel Elliott thing. I had to speak on it because it's hot and everybody's been talking about it. Let me know what y'all think. Comment. Ask me questions. I'm going to be coming back with more videos soon once training camp gets in full swing. Peace.